How's it going guys? Tyrant here and I just finished watching episode 14 of My Darling and Franks. So this is a really huge turning point in the series where uh, so you know Hero was hurt and everything and now he's been hospitalized and now we're gonna have to wait and see all okay so a lot of things happened. So everyone's trying to keep Hero away from Zero Two because he's kind of been from their eyes been manipulated by Zero Two, and Zero Two kind of finally realized her true emotions. I would say to Hero, and um, and after a very intense kind of like separation because of the the rest of the team, uh, you know, they finally they let Zero Two go talk to him. Uh, it, it led literally to a horrible ending um, to them getting like well beat up and Hero kind of seeing that because Hero wants to go talk with Zero to kind of get everything like figured out and everything you know you know she they they both want to have something but it's it's kind of hard to talk about because there's a lot that just happened in this episode and I literally just finished watching it and so so many feelings so many thoughts it's hard to talk to them all at once and i don't want to like bombard you with so much randomness because because we're seeing we're seeing one a couple adolescent kids talking uh, they're fighting some big thing there's literally transformation shit happening um and from what we can tell right now is it's really Ichigo trying to protect Hiro. Hiro trying to get more from Zero Two. Zero Two finally realizing what she, what Hiro was trying to do, uh, but then being separated. But if you're now we're seeing now that Zero Two has been went back to Squad, Dream Squad Five something like that, going back to her old team kind of like basically losing it it's yeah uh like literally the last few minutes of the show where hero kind of like denounced um zero two was a little sad um it's like it's like nothing happened i'm not like nothing happened but he's like she just he rejected her um and i believe the worst fashion possible uh ichigo trying her best to well basically confessing her love to him um and goro overseeing this like, like there's a lot it ended really like really intensely um because now we're just gonna have to wait and see how, where these characters are gonna go from because zero two is now gone um ichigo has finally confessed um, her, her feelings to Hero. Uh, Goro oversaw this, and now there's that weird gap because we know that Hero also knows that Goro likes Ichigo. We know this, um, and and now that Zero Two's gone, we know that we know how deeply Hero cares about Zero Two. Like you could see him when he was crying. Um, so yeah. There's gonna, there's gonna be a lot moving from this episode. Like it's gonna be because right now we, they're gonna be going to do a mission. Like, like it literally said they were gonna do a mission. Uh, so something, if something gonna happen next episode that kind of really, re at least within the next two episodes to kind of build the intensity, it's gonna be hard to see some some development because unless there's some side developments that's not too bad but right now i'm really invested in zero two hero and ichigo's storyline right now um mostly with zero two she she her character has finally been developed a little bit more and the world has been uh been upped so yeah we're just gonna have to wait and see i kind of want to know what where zero two came from too and because her horns have been growing back I wonder what's up with that because somehow she, when she was younger she was able to change to what she is now 
because she also bleeds red blood instead of her blue blood before so so yeah um yeah we're just gonna have to wait and see on that so those were my thoughts for this episode it's yeah i got really intense really intense so thanks again for watching until next time